Three giraffes in a row. What do you think? Watch what happens when I pull this one back. It swings and swings and swings as you expect, and something very odd occurs. Ooh, resonance going on there. And a bit of chaos as well. This one's hardly moving, but now it's taking on tremendous motion, and the middle one is almost, yes, it's almost stopped. It's doing a funny quiver. Ooh, goodness me, what a strange thing this is. Well, this is all done by magnets. I bought this in 1978, I think it was, from a Danish company. And uh, I've noticed they're still, uh, still producing it, actually. It's got hidden in the back here. If I bring it up the camera, there's a magnet in the back of the neck there. There's a magnet here, there's a magnet here, and there's a magnet here. And they're all in repulsion mode, so they're all repelling each other. So, for instance, the middle one I can put into a stable position when it's slightly forward of the others. I can't get them directly into line because it's, there's too much mobility in the spring base. And I can put it back to here, and then it takes another position here where, where it's in equilibrium and in between it's trying to it's trying to pull push the other ones away let's see if I can just do it by starting the back one not the middle one just those ones are pretty well stationary although there's, there, as you see they're repelling each other and now I'll just do this middle one here I'll hold this a bit firm actually and we'll see that the motion it's producing starts to affect the second one in and the other one's quivering slightly and then it affects the third one and you slowing down, slowing down, and now the energy it's giving is starting to be taken up seriously by both the others, in fact, yes. And this back one nearest me has almost stopped it for, for a moment there. You're getting extraordinary effects. Let me show from the front as well, nodding back and forward. Instead, they did originally have little sweet little, two little black horns on each one, which is what giraffes have, but unfortunately I've lost those. I have to replace them sometime or other. I think the middle one is the most satisfactory one to start with because it's extraordinary how it swings back and forward quite happily, and only after several reversals does it start uh, transmitting its, its uh, energy to the other two on either side. So it's a nice bit of um, coordination. Oh, it's like gymnasts almost, isn't it? Trying to, try, trying to dance, or, or uh, dancers perhaps, trying to, trying to coordinate their motion. And that's all run by magnets. So. so that was a lovely toy to pick up all those years ago, and I started looking out for other ones which showed Magnets in motion, I suppose, is a term I'd use. But there's a lot of them, a lot of good designs. The most obvious one, I suppose, would be um, uh, a pendulum. This is a pendulum. It's got a magnet in the base, as all these two have. There is actually a magnet here at the top that holds it. There's no need to have a little, permanent, a little universal joint, just that. And it's in repulsion mode. So, should we say there's a North Pole magnet underneath that little plastic, black plastic dome, and there's a North Pole in the base of this. And when I set it swinging like that, it's going to try and push itself away. It doesn't want to stay too close. It's actually, I'll do a, I'll do a circular motion, which I like the, the one, this is the one you can do a, a round and round motion. And you'll see it suddenly changing course and dart across and do something very strange. And also I like the idea that this can spin. This, it's a, it's a six-sided um, cone, which, we can, which can spin very nicely. Here we are, it's going to spin now. Look at that, spin, spin, spin. And all the time it's coming over the centre, and there we are, it's getting a really big kick from that central point there, where there's a, a magnetic field trying to push it away, out, 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 push it away. And it fairly quickly stabilises, but it's, it's a lovely thing to watch, because for a short time it really is quite a chaotic motion. It's going all, every which way it can, trying to avoid getting too close to the centre, where the, where the field is, is one of repulsion. That's a goodie. There's another one here, also done with, I think, repulsion motion. Yes, those are repelling each other. And these are just little things that circulate around like that, little little spinning tops almost. Um, and this is Magnetron, I think. Andrew Manufacturing Corporation in America came up with this several years ago, and then other people have copied it. This is, I think, a copy. Um, but it's lovely the way it reacts, again, chaotically. As the pieces get close to each other, they sometimes the if, of what, if I just spin like that, if I just hold that one steady and spin that one, and then you give a very slight twist to it, now it's going to start taking up motion as it comes through, if it gets through, yeah, this, there we are. And then it's going to get very, very chaotic, and you can't tell what's, which, what's, which is going to happen first and what's going to happen next. And also, if you do the opposite ways like that, I think that's effect, to, to make them go in opposite directions, and that's a very nice effect. Sometimes you get some beautiful bits of poof, strange actions. No, let's come to a premature halt. Let's try them again. Nicely made because it's got a proper little um, 
a pin in, in, in going down the centre with it and a very, a very, very small fulcrum at the top so it holds itself very nicely to get to, together and offers the absolute minimum of friction there. The only real friction is the air, air resistance as they're travelling through the air. I like that, the back to the other way, that's better. So, a bit of motion there from the magnetron. And now we add another feature to these. This is another one which looks like this, but actually it's got a fundamental difference between them, because here underneath is hidden a 9 volt battery. And that means there's a little kicker here, as they call it, which means it's going to keep repelling itself and pushing itself away as it swings through. So that will actually go on for about, well, I mean a battery like that, if it's brand new, will last for about two weeks with a very low draining current, which it has. So that might be sitting in a shop window, as a, acting as a little eye catcher in your shop window if you're selling something like that, um, continually working. And you think, where's the power source? Well, there isn't. Well, there is, but it's hidden inside in the form of a battery. Very nicely done. I like the idea of just a little simple magnet on the, on the top here. That's just a bit of steel and there's a magnet on these here which holds it together. Set it swinging like that and you get some very, very nice chaotic motion. That's what I'm always looking for, is something which you can't predict what's going to happen next. It suddenly jerkily changes direction. And it's being given quite a lot of oomph by that special little kicker in the middle there, so that'll keep it going for a long, long time. There's a beauty there. We'll leave that going, I think. Another thing you can do with the magnet for motion is something without the chaos. Just have this one here. There's a magnet on the base here. There's a battery in here, a 9 volt battery, or no, there's two, two 1 and a half volt batteries, I think, because it's a lower drain. And then you set the rider on these little pillars and you set it swinging. And that magnet is going to come in front of this top here where there's a little, little electromagnet that's going to give it a kick. And the kick will push it back and forward. And again, that will go on for about, well, two weeks or so. You can just set it in the window and it swings back and forward. It's not so watchable as this one here because it is just a steady motion. It's like a pseudo perpetual motion, but of course it's not. It's not actually a real one because there is a battery slowly being drained of its power. But it goes on a long, 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 long time, and it's it's, it's rather charmingly made. I think I love the black and silver effect of it, and it dismantles into very easy into a box, and I'm taking it to children's parties. So a nice design of that one. I've taken it to quite a few shows and children enjoy playing with it. They have to be a little bit careful because there's quite sharp tops here to them, which I warn them with when, they, when they've got it in their hands. But it's, it means that there's a very, very low friction in the actual bearing there, so it'll go on for a very long time. And the last one to show is the really best of the lot. It's again an electromagnetic toy, so there's a battery in the base. Look at this wonderful thing. Woo! Here's, uh, this is interesting, they've got two, two, two magnets. There's a magnet here, which interacts with the electromagnet here and it's given a kick so it's going to swing back and forward. Let me just demonstrate that by taking this central bit out to start with. I think if I could do it without, without breaking it, no, it's going to, no, it's just, I've done it once and it's a bit too difficult. If you take the bit out, it's just going to swing back and forward and not do very much. It'll be a bit like this one here. But now we've got something very clever going on because here, let me just demonstrate here, just there, there's a permanent magnet, and that, as it comes towards it, is being pushed back and forward. If I try to do it like that, it'll, it'll repel it itself. We'll watch. A little bit slow. There we are. It's repelling it. It's pushing it away. That's the important thing. So what happens now is something beautifully chaotic. I'll set it sideways, and I'll set it going, and off we go. See what happens. This is just going to swing back and forward, the outside frame. But the interesting thing is the two balls in the middle are going to go on swinging and swinging and swinging. What's this? Like music of the spheres, would you say? Well, certainly swinging of the spheres. What a wonderful effect that is, because that will again, like this first one, the last two have gone for about two weeks. It's got quite a lot of battery power in there and very little drain to the battery to make this, this, this magnetic kicker effect. So it'll go on for a long, long time sitting in, your, in a, an exhibition hall, perhaps, or in a shop window to attract people's attention because it's, it's very watchable. Those two balls there do the most extraordinary antics and completely unpredictable. It's just a matter of how much strength there is in, that, in, in the two magnets pushing each other. If it's going a bit too fast, it'll go straight through. If it's going slow enough, it'll be pushed back the way it's come, which makes it very interesting indeed. So that's a, that's a wonderful toy. I love the idea too of black and silver, it always makes a, a good contrast. That's probably quite a recent one and um, a very exotic one. 
I also like it because I take it to parties. I can pack it away very neatly too. It's, 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 uh, it's a good one. But that, that, I think that angle is probably one of the best for admiring this extraordinary form of motion. So magnets in motion, planetary spheres, what will we have next? I mean, I think a lot more can be done with these, this type of toy. And there's so much physics going on there as well too. Definitely part of my favorite collection. I do love magnets and I do love motion. And this combines the two wonderfully.